A digitally literate means to be able to share, create, and comprehend the technologies used. Kelly brings up in his article that we are becoming screen literate. To be able to grow up in a society full of iPhones and tablets makes me realize that I am becoming the screen. I have slowly developed into someone that solely relies on his or her phone. When I started to learn more about why I was becoming screen literate, I was assigned to use this website called WordPress. It's a place to jot down all of your ideas and it forms into a personal blog. I am considered to be a blogger of fashion. Using this blog, I have gotten to show others what it's like to be confident in what you wear and how others will see your unique style and outfits. For this assignment, I was asked to buy a URL to create my very own website through Reclaim Hosting. Once it was bought, it was time to make my proposal page telling my future viewers how I was going to keep them interested and entertained. Next portion of my task was to customize my website by using cPanel. That would take me to my dashboard. My dashboard consists of various different options. For example, colors of my blog page, themes, and personal widgets to pull together and create a website. The coolest thing I've gotten to share with my viewers was my own personal video. It was based back at home when I was dressed in fall clothing. It was awesome getting to create a unique way to share with my readers my interest in fashion. Speaking of technology, it has had a huge impact in blogging, such as using an iPhone. The iPhone, some may call it the best invention to ever be made provides knowledge of anything at the click of a button on the screen. We are becoming the screen, writer Kevin Kelly says. This is how people are becoming addicted to their phones and how humans live behind media and technology. He says that no longer we look in books, we end up looking at a screen that we expect to show us all answers. Kelly says that at our fingertips we create a landscape of images, that we can watch any media and communicate with others. We are at the screen. I've come across some helpful iPhone apps. One useful app is Pocket. Pocket is a nifty app that allows you to save an article for later. If you're busy at the time, you can save it into Pocket and read it at a more convenient time. I use Pocket mostly when I get distracted with homework and stumble upon an article that I find interesting but cannot read at the moment. Pocket helps make reading more convenient but also more useful in making sure that your articles will be saved and available for later. While using Pocket, I've saved a lot of my articles that I found on this other app called Zite. Also an iPhone app, but allows you to research specific articles that you find interesting. Using Zay as a valuable resource has made my searches come very easy. When I'm busy at the moment and cannot read my article from Zay, I save it into my app pocket. The dynamic duo between Zay and Pocket has made my WordPress site better than ever and offers an interaction with other writers that share a common interest. Another app to add into the duo is Feedly. Feedly is very similar to Zay because both author a large amount of articles to read that you have taken interest in. Feedly is used to look up certain topics, then brings up hundreds of articles and photos that relates to your topic you had in mind. It will then remember what you looked up last and save it into the history. The next time you open the app, a list of all the articles you clicked on last will show up again, but with the writer's newest articles. Comparing this app to Zite, if you are unable to read it at the time, you can save it to Pocket to read later. The coolest app that I've stumbled upon yet has been IFTTT. Although it may seem confusing at first, you, once you figure it out, it's pretty fun to play with. IFTTT is used to keep a non-stop feed of articles that continuously come onto any social media you want. Using the method, if this then that, creates a thing called a recipe, meaning that you've created a feed of articles to share to your viewers. I've uploaded my recipe to my Twitter feed while using articles from InStyle. Also, having my Twitter along the side of my blog page helps my readers see all the articles that relate to fashion. Using these applications has enhanced my blog and has improved the way I can interact with others. As Michael Walsh says, The machine is us, meaning that the computer has turned humans into technology fanatics. We use these computers and phones as a resource to all the answers in life. Communicating with others now means to be locked behind a screen while interacting with people. Welsh demonstrates how flexible it is to change and control your words online or even someone else's. He created a video that shows how different we are in our lives today. When I'm writing my own blog, I find it easier to see how other people write their own blogs on fashion. I find this a great method because seeing how others wrote their blogs makes it easier to compare and contrast your work and theirs. In other words, I find this a great way to remix someone else's work into my own. As Kirby Ferguson said, everything is a remix. In his videos, Kirby showed me that taking another person's work and redeveloping it into my own is called a remix. When I show my viewers how writers wear their scarves, I can take that idea and twist it around making it a remix. 
My blog is used to express how fashion is universal and how to wear it on any college campus. This goes for photos. I've learned that it's easy to get an image online, but it isn't so easy to use it on your own personal blog. Sammy Lynn Andrews says, you need to make sure that you're using them legally and optimizing them so they're working for you and not against you. These words provided the perfect explanation why I cannot just use anyone's photos from the internet. As I finished my first semester as a communications major, I realized how much I actually learned throughout the course. I thought I was not so digitally literate, and it really did prove me. <laughs> I was, was taught to differentiate from a thick tweet from a thin tweet. I was introduced to being part of the blogosphere and even shown how to interact on social media. Although I may have thought I started digitally literate, I can assure you I was definitely far from it. The more technology updates and the more I will have to keep up with the modern world, I will learn that I have to continue to be digitally literate in the society today.